Good afternoon, and it's a Saturday afternoon. I've just been out on the booster because I had some weird noises coming from the front. Didn't have any weird noises coming from the front. Had a wobble at about 70 miles an hour ish um, that soon went away. So that was strange. Didn't like it, didn't enjoy it, never came back. Um, but one thing I did discover is my old um, gear lever, which obviously isn't going to do it while I'm holding the camera. My old gear lever. Where are you? You're here somewhere. There you go. It's um, sticking down. It's digging in the exhaust. And it's never done it before. So I don't know what it's doing now. But it's um, just jamming up on the exhaust. So I'm going to take this off. Um, give that a look. Make sure that is properly greased up and all the rest of it. And then probably put a little dent in the exhaust. So it don't do it anymore. But I've checked the exhaust and it's in the right place. Corresponds to the exhaust the other side. Um, obviously got the exhaust hanger that's got to line it up and all the rest of it. So... Um, yeah, it's all on there properly. The the retaining bolt is retaining bolt like. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna strip that off. So need to get some Allen keys. That one probably. Oh, definitely. Marvelous. Do we wanna? Do we wanna do that, or do we wanna just take the split pin off? Slide this mechanism out. Yeah, I think that might be the way to go, rather than rip all that off. Second thoughts. Try a different approach. And that's, uh, if you can hear the noise in the background, that's the fan. It's bloody hot today. Oh, that is dry. That is dry. Skanky old grease. Right, something to clean that up with. You can see the, where it's hitting the exhaust. Or can you? Can you see that? I don't know whether you can. Hang on a minute. Right, you might be able to see that now. So, split pins off. Leave that on there. And I've just got a bit of brake clean. I've got to be a little bit careful because the old exhaust is still what? I only just got back from having a play. Right, where are you? The bushing is nice and bright again rather than having all that old gunk on it. Right, and because this is a Hayabusa, you have to have Silkaline Pro RG2 synthetic racing grease. Not so much the Silkaline, but definitely racing grease because it's so fast this bike so fast I don't know why I'm greasing that up so soon I've got to put a dent in the exhaust first a bit like that I'll put a bit in the side to be fed onto that then the uh, It'll grease itself as it goes through. Right, something just to put a, a little dent in that. What should we use? Right, 
I don't think this is doing anything to be honest. Oh, that's not. There's a small there's a smallish divot in it, but I think that's more from where the lever has been rubbing into it. Um, but because the grease was still good on here, it wasn't actually pinching at all. Perhaps I don't need to stick a dent in there. No, it was the grease that was doing it. Full force. Yeah, it's the grease. Grease is the word, is the word. So, excess off. And ring back up. Oh, that was going so smooth. So smooth until the big fail at the end. I think the clip is toast. Yeah. I think the clip might be toast. There you go. Get in there. In. Are you in? Or are you out? Screwdriver. Screwdriver. Yeah, I definitely think I need a new one of them. That's a bit. It's in there. It's a bit. A bit, you know, it's a bit. Don't trust it, sort of thing. Anyway, without denting the exhaust, you'll be pleased to know. Yeah, it's fixed. Just wanted re-greasing. Thank goodness I'm a mechanic. <laughs> no, not mechanic. What's what is it? Delusional old fat guy in a shed. I knew it's a garage shed. But I've got Taylor Swift to keep me company. That's the main thing. Anyway, thanks for watching and. Um, I'll see you again. Ciao.